Today, the house detective is going to talk about how to cut a large piece of PVC pipe. I'm thinking in terms of pipe that is like half, one and a half inch or two inch or even uh, four inch or whatever. It, it's a very simple way to, d to do it and, and you can easily find the tools in most homes. At, at worst, you know, you have to buy a piece of wire from the hardware store. Anyway, I think it's very good. I don't know where I learned this. Uh, I probably learned it years ago from my dad or from uh, somebody else. And it may be out there in the world, but I think the average person wouldn't know how to do this. It's particularly useful in, in situations that I had last week where I, I needed to cut a pipe that was coming out of the wall upstairs. And uh, it was an inch and a half PVC pipe. And the only way I could cut it was with this method, because any other way would have been messy or difficult. If you don't have a vise, you're going to have to have figure out some way to hold this. This has to be pretty tight. Maybe not that tight. Now, the lesson I learned from a um, different YouTuber and I don't know if I'll be able to give him credit for that is first of all did you know that when you pull the uh, screwdrivers out of here this can make a nice nut driver for some certain types of uh, sizes of nuts so I'm going to put this in here as a guide based on another youtubers idea it's a real good idea actually if you use two it would even be a better idea but what I need is about an inch sticking out of here, maybe a little less. I need to be able to glue this. So I'm turning this with this nut driver. Oh, get it. Not too tight. It's tight enough. Now we put our. Uh, call, it, call it a wire saw. In these handles mainly just keep from getting blisters, so I'm going to try to stay up against the um, the uh, clamp here. I'm going to go out here where I can get to it a little better. You put a little bit of force on it, you just basically want to create heat. The heat is what cuts it. And we can expect this wire to break at some point and just add a new one. It's getting very hot, it's starting to melt really harder to pull. Maybe I just need to uh, use a little less force. We're probably at least a third through, maybe half. The smell of PVC burning, melting. Don't touch the wire, it's probably over 100 degrees, more than 100. Yeah, we're really getting close now. This works real well on a wall. That's where I cut this off. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we're not quite through, so I need a wire. My dad had this wire. And I use it all the time. I've had it probably for 50 years. And uh, it's extremely handy, but it's like it's a never ending roll. Never runs out. So I'm making a new handle here now. New uh, saw. I think I made it too short, but it's okay. Let's see how that goes. Probably about a foot and a half is about right. This is way too short. Let's see how it goes. Got to get in the same hole. I don't think I got it in the same hole. 
Let's see how this goes. You didn't expect music, did you? Yeah, it's pretty much the same hole, I guess. Okay, this is hot. So the final product is this, and I'll just uh, sand off the rough edges. It's not not perfect. You could probably do a better job than I did, but this is good enough for government work.